Hello one and all, welcome back to the channel. You joined me here at Sunset GT, where we, I guess we're starting off with a McLaren Speedtail and at least a hundred other supercars. But, okay, wow. Um, so we're here at Sunset GT, right as we pull out of the car, boom, McLaren Speedtail. What the heck, we'll see that very shortly. So we ran into something quite special here, a McLaren Sabre, one of 15 in the world. This one arguably my favorite because of the rainbow color scheme. We're gonna look at the front very quickly. But just look at all of this quite fiber. Look at that hexagonal design right there. The amount of detail in this car is ridiculous and this thing is beautiful. Absolutely incredible. There will be a lot more to come, trust me. Okay, we're a little distracted from the Sabre because the McLaren Speed is following it now. Be told next to the Sabre, this is an incredible combination. We are breaking away from the um, McLarens, the Sabre, and the Speedtail to bring some other hypercars since there is a massive crowd in front of those two McLarens. But we do have the new Rimac Nevera, brand new car. Bugatti Chiron, full blue carbon fiber there. McLaren Senna, daily driven exotics, McLaren 720 GTR, and Huracan Evo Aperta. To a very incredible build indeed. A Pagani Huayra Coupe, a Ford GT down here, as well as a Porsche 918 Spider as well. That is quite the treat to see all of these just in one line and there's plenty more. Over here at the Rimac stand as well, we have the new Rimac Nevera as well as over here the Rimac Concept of One. Here's the rear end of the C1. Absolutely incredible. Very quick. Very high accelerating. I would think about 2,000 horsepower in this one car. Or maybe that's the C2 slash for McNavera. But either way, both of these. Very cool to see. So there's less of a crowd now. So here we have the Speed Tail. One of one tailor made spec here. Orange seats there and orange accents on the interior. But I just love that fade the whites of the gray or more silver and then the saber as well rainbow i mean fiber that is just incredible to see i cannot believe that so i'm probably gonna get a copyright strike from the music but it doesn't matter because i don't have a thousand subscribers yet big on a thousand subscribers you can try to get me a thousand subscribers soon but yeah you have the back of this beat hill extremely long car there that is very incredible. This here is the Razor Tachyon electric hypercar from built in the LA area. That, those looks are absolutely just crazy. Design language, all sharp, sharp design. That is really cool. And if we look behind us, you will see the new Lamborghini Huracan STO. Brand new Lamborghini Huracan here, and we won't just see one, we won't just see two, we will see three Huracan STOs. Isn't that something? That is just incredible. Well, look at this. That is a Ferrari F40 coming in now. I'm very surprised to see this. It's beautiful. Look at that. Here's the rear end of the F40. I do believe we've seen this F40 before, but it's still very nice to see again. And some other supercars as well, including an SV and an SVJ. Here comes two very cool cars, a Liberty Walk Huracan, unfortunately with the front end lift up at this stage. And a Ferrari 458 Spider, also Liberty Walks. Very close there. Oh, and the scrapes the splitter, unfortunately. Look at that. Yeah, it's not every day that you'll see a McLaren P1. But wow, simply wow. That is a beautiful color as well. Got also here a beautiful Porsche Curry GT. First glance, I did think it was a Gambala Mirage GT, but unfortunately it's not. But we'll see one one day. There's that, that is beautiful. We have sort of switched to spots now. Right here we found a Lamborghini Murcielago SV. This is absolutely 
craziness, I must say that. And look over there, that's a McLaren Santa. Take a camera RS. Wow. Look at that. And a retro SV Roadster as well. But oh my god. Barely gonna get this. That's a Bugatti Veyron. Oh my god. Hopefully it turns around. Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren as well. What is going on? Here we are coming up. It's the Bugatti Veyron. There it is. Red interior, black Veyron. Or black with carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that, but wow. There it goes. This is a lot. We have something quite rare right here a Ferrari 550 Barchetta. Not every day you see one of these. It's very, very, very cool. And then down here we have an FD RX7 followed by a 993. Huracan and 458 have now left. We're in traffic right now. And our body kit, especially the wing on the Huracan, absolutely beautiful. So menacing. It's incredible. Ooh, over there across the street, a 365 Daytona. That's very nice. This I didn't see another McLaren Senna. This one being the fourth of the day, I believe. That fourth McLaren Senna sounds about right. One of them already left. I missed it, unfortunately. But here it is, McLaren Senna. Number four. One of the F40s is now leaving. Very, very beautiful. Look at that. There it goes. Oh my. And this, I think, is where we're going to end the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you did enjoy the video. Pre car week, I will be heading up to Monterey next week. So we will we'll have more than one video from Monterey. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. Amazing video, incredible day. McLaren Sabre is probably the highlight. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, 
Monterey Car Week is next week. Expect to see McLaren F1 on the channel, CLK GTR on the channel, uh, La Ferraris, P1s, 918s, all the like. But yeah, get ready for some absolute craziness coming up next week. Like I did say before, more than one video will be made. But yeah, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next week up in Monterey Car. Uh, but Monterey for Car Week. Bye.